The International Space Elevator, also known as the ISAF, is the single largest structure ever built in Stranger, and is going to be the main focus of the story in Ace Combat 7, as admitted by Ace Combat producer Kazutoki Kono. Yet, we know so little about it. There are several questions we could ask about the space elevator, including who built it, what was it for, when and where it was built, and who would have the duty to protect it. In the Ace Combat 7 announcement trailer back in 2015, we see the ISAF in the middle of a large body of water, where we can only presume it's the ocean. In the whole announcement trailer, there is no hint that could give away ISAF's location, except the two planes feature in the short clip, which we can tell that one is ocean and the other one is erosion. As I mentioned in my first trailer analysis, we could assume that with that information that the space elevator would be somewhere in between those two countries in an area like this. However, this area is still very large and we can't get a really accurate idea of where the elevator is located. This is when we can analyze the second trailer. In the second version of the trailer, we can see a city that is very close to the elevator. So what I did is I compared the position of the elevator in relationship to the city and the sun. We can confirm then that the elevator is on the west side of the city because it's sunset. We know that in sunset, the sun always sets on the west side, so because the elevator is in between the sun and the city, we can confirm that the elevator is indeed on the west side. Now before someone tells me I'm wrong, just keep in mind that it is indeed the sunset in the sunrise, the, that tone of color, that orange-ish tone does not happen, so it is sunset indeed. Now before we get any further, I noticed something different on the elevator by comparing the two trailers. In the first trailer, the elevator is standing by itself and its surrounding structures just include some ports. In the second version of the trailer, however, I noticed that there are some bridges that connect the elevator to the unknown city. With this in mind, I thought about a couple of options. First, I thought there was more than one elevator. Then, I thought the developers might just have changed the location of the elevator as its game development progressed. And I also thought about the elevator having actually two locations. And I'll explain that in a second. I have already ruled out the existence of the two elevators in the game because if having one is already a hard task to build and maintain, imagine two of them. Plus, it wouldn't go very well in the story of the game. As for the change of the locations during the development of the games, that would make more sense. From a scenery point of view, I think it would be nicer to have a city located close to the elevator, and logistically in the game it would make more sense to either build an elevator that's close to a major city, or have the city built close to the construction site of the elevator, in order to ease off the construction of the elevator. My other thought about the elevator being in two places at the same time comes from a similar concept from Ace Combat Assault Horizon. As I have heard on the internet, the very first mission of Ace Combat 7 will apparently take place near the elevator, so I believe that it could be an introductory mission that does not fit into the game's chronologic order. Just like Assault Horizon, this would be like the very first mission in Miami, where it was actually a dream from the game's protagonist, William Bishop. So the surrounding of the elevator in this first introductory mission wouldn't really matter. As to the location of the elevator itself, from what I've seen, the comments on the internet point out to three main locations, Arred, Furbani and Expo City. The three of them actually make sense, Arred because it's Osea's capital, it's on the shore and has a large body of water close to it. And because it's inside Osea's territory, it would be easy for the Oceans to build it, given they have a very developed space technology. As an example, look at the Arkbird, the Mass Driver, and also the Soul. For Bonnie too would make sense because it's Arusia's capital, and even how the scene is portrayed in the second trailer of Ace Combat 7, it does remind me of the mission Siege of Farbani in Ace Combat 4. And I'm talking about both a physical and environment 
type of setting, which includes the shoreline of the city and also the sunset. Eruji 2 has an advanced technology as we can see it being developed in the second trailer of the game, so as a technological power it would make sense for them too to build the space elevator. The third option would be Expo City, and although it doesn't belong to either Osi or Rugia, there are some interesting coincidences between the bridges in Expo City and the unknown city that shows up in the trailer. They are basically the same. But as I already said before, the elevator is located west of the shore, and this would be impossible for Expo City as you can look at the map. On more recent news, Ace Combat producer Kazutoki Kono has said in an interview with Dual Shockers that the location of the space elevator would be on an island southwest of the Eugene continent. And by looking at the map of Stranger, this gives us some interesting locations. These locations include Twinkle Island, where we start off in Ace Combat 2 and where we finish in Ace Combat 4, since that's where Megalith is located. Another option would be Tyler Island, which is right by the equator, and then Scully Islands, which are more to the south of the continent, where you face off the Kun Kun Squadron in Ace Combat 3D. Now, when Kazutoki mentioned an island, I can't tell for sure if he meant that the elevator itself is on an island, or the elevator together with the city close to it is located on an island. So I think for us for now it's too soon to ignore those other islands closer to the continent. When it comes to the unknown city, I think we shouldn't be jumping into the conclusion that the elevator was built close to an already known major city that was featured in the previous games. The elevator construction could have started either far or close to a major city, but regardless, what matters is by the time the construction was finished, the location around it had developed. And I say this because the city could have started out as a logistical support site to the construction of the elevator. Adding to the discussion, at this moment I am inclined to believe that the space elevator is actually located in the western section of Tyler Allen. Because from the research I've done online, the best place to build a space elevator would be at the equator. Now, I'm not saying it has to be built there, but the construction in other latitudes, be north or south, would be harder. And this project is so big, I think you could as well use all the help you can. Another point supporting this idea is that as far as my knowledge goes, Tyler Island hasn't been featured in any other games so that would give Project Aces a new location to explore and create. This video might have gone a little bit too long, but I think we're getting to some pretty interesting and complex discussions about Ace Combat 7, and I find it funny that the game hasn't even been released. Oh well, I think this is the power of Ace Combat and the community that the game has. I'll finish off this video now, but I want to hear from you guys, where do you think the space elevator would be located. And do you have any clue that I missed that could help us find the location of the elevator? If you do, please post that in the comments because I'd love to hear. And don't worry, because I'll keep the videos about Ace Combat 7 coming so we can fuel more the hype. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. You know what, Trigger? Why don't you lead it all